My name is Arthur Padilla and my company is Strategy Works and we're a limited liability company here in the state of Washington. We do education and we do um, strategic work with boards, nonprofit boards, and um, primarily we do adult education. That And we actually end up doing a lot of program evaluation for really, really large programs across the country. So that's really a fun part of our work, but those are the two things that we do. We actually bought an AI an artificial intelligence um, name changer, name caller. And we went through and we put all of the info in and it came up with about, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 options. And we said, oh, wow, okay. And we went through all the options and then this one just struck us. And we said, oh, that, that's kind of fun. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. My path to the nonprofit world was actually early on. I started in, uh, I'm thinking back, it was very early, I think, <laughs> early for me um you know it's a, it was probably 82 83 something like that i was um um oh gosh i'm thinking i was probably two years out of being completely homeless kind of thing i hadn't i was you know not living homeless any longer so that was a um so it was an interesting time in my life i wasn't living on the streets i was still very housing insecure but i found that um wor working in the community that i was working with i got swept up into um all of the aids activism actually in a very small community in northern New Mexico, but we were doing marches and we were doing all of the act up stuff. And, you know, here I was a young person, you know, doing stickers all over, getting in trouble, you know, doing all of that activism. But we did the, you know, silence equal death thing for months until some, and, you know, it was that time when everyone started making a difference and started making a noise. And I, that's where I became involved. And then I started working in HIV and AIDS in Southern Arizona. and in a nonprofit and in public health. And it just, you know, from there, I've been involved ever since. And I became a nonprofit junkie because I just, you know, I love so it. When I decided to do, um, to go on my own as a consultant, I, um, I uh, took about six months to find my first gig. And the first gig was in Alaska. And that was doing, um, doing program evaluation. Right. And I was, and it was just, it was a really odd set of circumstances, but I ended up evaluating a statewide program that they've been doing with the Department of Ed for years and years. And it was a cultural immersion program. Oh my God. It was the best work ever. I learned so much about what it means to do um, culturally relevant education and the work it takes to do that well and the time and energy, they, they just taught me so much, these young women, it was really priceless work. But I did, I worked in Alaska for about eight years um, with, uh, once I got that particular job, I started working with a whole bunch of different entities in Alaska doing education and evaluation.